Am I? Is it working? And band. Because I switched my Wi-Fi signal. And I think I fixed it. I think I fixed it. Yay! I'm back. I lied. I'm not leaving. Now if I could just get my bot to like actually boot people, that would be great. Yeah, I I have two Wi-Fi signals and I'm usually on the five hertz one and sometimes that one I don't have as strong a signal for some reason and it'll like boot me out of stuff and I wonder if that's why I've been having issues tonight. Because last time I turned it on, it literally, like, immediately dropped to, like, over, like, 100 frames dropped, so. Which is good, because I hit a plot point. <laughs> I'm glad I'm able to broadcast it. There we go. I think I like this uh, setup with the multi-platform though. His hair remained intact, notice, even though he was, like, buried and poisoned and washed up ashore. Somehow, that giant, like, unicorn spike stayed in place. But how did his hair stay intact if he was washed up? This is the real question of life I have right now. It really must be glue. But like waterproof. <laughs> it's like freaking super glue. He really is. Like, it's it's kind of ridiculous how in place his hair has remained this entire game. His unicorn horn. I'm curious to see how it looks in the remake and if it's a spiky. I'm so happy that I got this working because all I wanted to do tonight was stream this damn game. I 
didn't buy anything in this village. Shit. I totally forgot. Oops. <laughs> I'm being asked why Barrett's grabbing his butt because I apparently forgotten. Yep. I made it to the town. I got OBS to work. I figured out where did I go. Found a cloud. It's great. OBS hates me, I guess, but whatever. It's working. <laughs> Fingers crossed it does not decide to have another fit on me. I didn't buy anything in town, and I feel really dumb for it. Can I go back and buy things? I have money. I want to spend it. Did he just fall asleep during all that? Is there just- is this like the mini segment of the game where suddenly Cloud's gone and you're just like, new leader, let's figure it out. What, for wanting to buy th- I read that I was supposed to buy stuff in the town and I just completely bypassed it. I bought enough things today. I got a new cup. I got a giant TIE fighter. I have a, today's a shopping day. I mean, the TIE fighter is like half of me. That's amazing. Okay. Somebody told me a bunch of changes were happening. This must have been what they were talking about. I guess I have to pick my party, don't I?
Let's do Barret and Yuffie or Vincent, guys. Yuffie or or Red. Yuffie, Vincent, or Red. First one I see will be who I pick, I guess. I almost wonder if I should do Vincent because he's higher level. And Sid's not. I don't think I've used Sid yet. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Vincent. I like him. I've never played Sid before. I don't play Cat Sid. He is a dirty, dirty liar. And I can't trust Cat Sid version 2. That they just, like, literally replaced randomly. Like, they didn't even bat an eyelash when they replaced Cat Sith. They were just like, yep, okay, here's version 2, don't even worry about it. I don't want spinning rims. <laughs> but, and they, like, make his death super not meaningful by doing that, though. As a fan of Bioware games, I, uh, I like my deaths to be meaningful. Okay, where the frick is Mount Coral at? Oh, those are the Midgar Zalamas. There's that farm. I'm going the wrong way. I know that. Um, there's, a uh, version 2 of Cat Sith. Yeah, he's like shiny and um, dumb. Okay, where's this? This is in Mount Coral. I know I'm near it. Maybe that was Mount Coral. Hell if I know. That's Neb Nebelheim? Nibelheim something place or other? Fuck if I know what it's called. Alright, I'm gonna go sit down over here. Yeah, his butt's like shiny when you walk behind him. Nope, I think I made it. Yep, this is Mount Coral. I was right, I remembered. Sometimes I remember where things are. Sometimes I don't, I really need to save. I will tell you that. That's, I, I'm gonna go right out here and save real quick. Cause that's, that's a whole lot of regret coming my way if I don't save. That's like over an hour. Oh, I would be crying. Just sobbing. What is, tell me what Final Fantasy seven, or eight is about because I don't even know anything about that game. Wait. There we go, North Coral. I don't know what any of that means. I'm probably not supposed to go this way, but whatever, we're gonna. Give it a go. 
Oh no, y'all are gonna start fighting about Final Fantasy VIII. I have no input. I've never touched that game. Ooh, pretty birdies. Bert needs to kill everybody this round. <laughs> but no, like, what- I mean, it's different characters, I guess, every Final Fantasy game. And a different, like, mission stuff. I don't know. I played the opening of 13 with lightning and got really bored, so I, I just, I don't think JRPGs are for me. Okay, then I think I'm good. I don't like card game. Well, I don't see myself being very amused by card games. I probably should have just flown here, but oh well. That just sounds odd. I don't know. Doesn't like, um, I think I heard 12 has some weird orb system. They're always changing stuff in these games. I don't get it. Well, oh, I did not mean to go that way. good. I'm thinking, um, I don't know, I want to play The Witcher. I have that. And then I also thought about doing, like, a, I don't know, maybe games I've just never played in general trying. <sighs> but I feel like that could get out of hand really quickly. I definitely need a break from Final Fantasy when I finish this. No to the Witcher? The Witcher's bad? I also really want to go back and play uh, all of Mass Effect with all the DLC, because I never finished the DLC for Mass Effect 3. So that's another thing I'm thinking about next. I don't know. I've got to figure out what I want to play during Extra Life Alt still, so... That's gonna be a rough 24 hours for me. I like what I've played of The Witcher. I've not made it very far though. Oh, I do have Borderlands, the pre-sequel to play, too. I gotta start on that. I'll just go back to WoW. Make it real easy. Uh, PC. Pretty much only play on PC now. Besides, like, I have Xbox One that I play on some, but predominantly I'm a PC gamer nowadays. I built my rig, and it's just kind of become my life. I love it. Yeah, I heard the pre-sequel wasn't as good either, but I'm thinking it would be pretty entertaining for Extra Life because I I know how to play Borderlands, so I'm not going to be fumbling for like 20 hours with it, you know? 
Nice. Yeah, I play, um, right now I'm playing Diablo 3 on my Xbox One. And then I grab all the freebies. That's my main console of choice. I've never been a big PlayStation girl. Just, I don't know. I think it's because uh, my first console after the N64 was uh, Xbox 360. And besides that, I was always on PC. Like, I spent most of my middle school days playing StarCraft and Warcraft. And then high school, I played a lot of World of Warcraft. A whole lot of World of Warcraft. Okay. I gotta figure out how to get onto this reactor again. <sighs> Me too. But like, I love like StarCraft and StarCraft 2. I'm <laughs> I'm not really, I don't know, I need to play the um, new ones like all the way through as far as campaigns go, because I haven't, but I don't know, part of me doesn't want to. Like I have such fond memories of StarCraft and Warcraft when I was a kid. Kind of like Halo, like I have really fond memories of Halo, but I have no interest in playing it again now. Of course I fell asleep on me. There we go. I, like, me and my guy friends haloed it up a lot when I, um, was in high school. A lot. That was, like, every day after school at somebody's house playing Halo. Apparently Sid like really likes taking charge. No. I'm old. Oh what like add ten years to that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be 27 next in November. It's okay. I get like nonstop ID'd and funny looks. It's fun. When I got my license at 16, um, I would get looked at like I was a 13 year old driving <laughs> and like I shouldn't be driving. So that was always fun. Or I guess I was, I was like 17 when I got my first car. So yeah. This is annoying. 
Okay. It's okay, it helps looking young. I can go to Toys R Us and buy things and I don't get judged. <laughs> I got the rhythm down. <laughs> yeah, I look um, significantly younger than I am, that's for sure. It's fun. Welcome to old age, because once you like once you're over 25, things will start going downhill. Like parts start creaking, and you're like, "What the fuck is going on?" I thought I was still young, so now I'm just I'm old. I've like officially like actually thrown my back out before now and it's weird. <laughs> I'm also to the point where like I do not realize how old people are or aren't I guess. It's like getting harder and harder to tell how old somebody is. Which I've been told is a part of aging. <laughs> Yeah, once I heard a hip, I'll start I'll start worrying. <laughs> okay. We're on the train. We made it. I, I found a rhythm and we made it. What the fuck? That's a that enemy is pipes. Literally, just pipes. Connected to other things. This This game. Is kind of ridiculous. If you look at like the enemy designs and everything else, it's just it's weird. And there's gonna be a battle on every fucking little platform thing, so that's great. Yay, Vincent transformed. I love the pipe. It's great. It's, this is very creative level design. It's kind of like they went to Home Depot and just picked up random parts to build something with connectors and whatnot. I was like, wait a minute. <sighs> okay. Oh. I don't know what his uh thing does. Oh now you can kind of see the achievements on my Steam thing. It's so weird playing a game this old and getting achievements to me still. Like, it just throws me off, because I'm like, there shouldn't be achievements in this game. 
That is not something I should be earning for playing a game from the 90s. I live in South Carolina right now. I am not from anywhere though. I've lived like all over the states my whole life, so. I'm probably not going to pass this. Vincent's of the Dracula, um family, I guess, since he transforms into an animal. I, uh, lived in Georgia for nine years. No, seven years, not nine. Seven? Yeah, about seven. Six, seven years. Atlanta area. And then I went, uh, down by Savannah for college. And now I'm in South Carolina, after some states in between. Okay. Ooh, he died. Good. I was like, I am going to die if this doesn't go well. I'm running out of time. It's making me, I hate timers. They make me nervous. Like I never like feeling like I have to compete against a clock and things. Uh, at least once a week. Um, usually I tweet about it before I stream. I, it just depends on my schedule on when I get the time in, but I do go for once a week. And then I post every Monday to uh, a YouTube channel with the previous streams that are kind of edited down and into a little bit more bite-sized chunks. That's at uh, Blank Showcast on YouTube. And it's the same same series title as these streams. So. I think I'd like to start streaming more, it's just hard to find the time. Got too much shit going on. And... Let's see. I think I'm gonna run out of time. Maybe... And, yep. Damn. I help uh, run marketing, social media stuff, and then I also am starting a business right now, so it takes up a lot of time. I'm not talking to your phone. <sighs> well, at least this time around I should do better.
Yeah, it's it's different. We're I'm using Etsy, so it'll help, but it's it's gonna be interesting. And then I like I said I run some social media for um, some people I know, so that helps. Hmm. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way again. Well. Good to check Google again because it's just easier than attempting to figure this out. There's the link for all the streams. Apparently, I need to reload my save probably. Because I do not have the gill to buy the materia I need, apparently. Joy. Alright. See if I can sell enough stuff and just buy it. I got that materia. I didn't get the huge materia though, so hopefully I can manage. You would think at this point I would just always have the thing pulled up to know what I need to go for this, but I never do. Um, usually Thursdays, Fridays, or Saturday nights often. It just depends on... 
whenever, like, my husband has to go away for band practice or band stuff, I stream. So, like, last weekend, I think I streamed a couple days over the weekend because he was gone and I was able to, like, find the time, so. It just varies. Um, but you, a lot of times it's Thursdays or Tuesdays also has happened. Some Monday mornings. It just varies. I don't know, I, I really need a set schedule. Where'd the airship go? Usually when he's out of the house, I sit down and like try to get a couple hours in. Twitter's always the best spot, because I do, uh, yeah, kinda, um, right now it's messed up. They just got back from, like, a little mini, uh, tour thing, and they've got stuff going on, so they've not been able to practice, but, um, usually Saturdays or Sundays has been my more regular schedule, but it just depends. Like, I always tweet about it before I go live within an hour or so. That's about it. Okay, now to Fort Condor. I'm gonna have a more set schedule pretty soon here. But I just haven't decided on it. <laughs> I just don't know what nights work for me, always. And Condor is this way. No. Oh, I'm on the wrong island, that's why. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm going the right way. I was pretty regularly doing like every Sunday or Saturday afternoon for a while. Alright, so that's that's changed. I might actually start doing Thursday nights. This has had a pretty good turnout. And there we go. Ah. Yeah, I just tweet about it, because that's where I have, like, the most people I talk to. I don't really Facebook. I have to have social media with my marketing stuff anyways, so. That was a nice one-hit kill. You can always watch them on the YouTube channel, though, later if you want to see me struggle. <laughs> um, we'll see. I will probably in the next two weeks be posting, like, a set schedule on my page for when I'll be streaming and just stick to that. Um, I'm working on setting my hours for the business I'm starting, so that's also part of it. Right now, that's made me, like, way off.
Heal up. I don't know how somebody survives without social media. Like, that's the only way I talk to, like, half of my friends is because of Twitter. We be tweetins at each other a lot. But no, I'm just saying if you want to watch me, like, struggle with video game, because that's all I do in this. That's what streaming is. You're watching someone play a game. Look, it's only creepy if you're, like, watching someone play a game, making creepy comments. So far, you're good. And... Like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of how to make it worse. I don't know. I feel like half the reason people watch this is to watch me fail at Final Fantasy VII. Like, that's it. I guess I was told it was also interesting to see how I react to things, since it's so much later. Okay. I guess half the fun's the chat, too. What's a phone call? I don't understand. Oh, shit, I meant to go okay, ready. Um, I don't know. We like to tweet, me and my friends. Um, I'm just, we're gonna give it a go. No, I text and get phone calls too. It's just, I have some friends that are overseas and stuff, so Twitter sometimes is the easiest way to like, all communicate. I definitely do not know what a face-to-face -face conversation is, considering like over half my friends do not live near me anymore. That's what happens when you've lived in like nine states. Oh, that's not true. I mean, I've got a friend coming to visit this weekend. We're going to a Transformers convention. That'll be face-to-face. -face. That was communicated through text message. <laughs> I, say, I think I get more texts from, like, my husband's old army friends than I do, uh, like, friends. <laughs> They tend to call. I don't like FaceTiming. I FaceTime with my mom to show her my doggies. 
That's about it. <laughs> that is my FaceTime interest. Yeah, I don't get, like, my husband's, um, retired, medically retired, um, from the military, and, like, all his army friends do is call him constantly, and I don't get it. Like, I don't understand why the boys want to talk on the phone so much, and then they all bitch because, like, girls don't want to talk on the phone anymore, so. I don't really get it. Goldfish. I know. That's what happens when you spend like a year spooning together in the desert. Girls are weird. Soup's weird. That, that is not true because I've, there was spooning when my husband was in Afghanistan. There was, there was a lot of weird things happening. <laughs> Nothing gay. They were just spooning for warmth, but he was in the mountains. It was very, very cold is my understanding. Hi. To speech and see wonderful typos then. Okay, give me the material. Me too. I'm definitely weird. It's totally true. I fully own my weirdness. Materia! Hi, pro! Weirdness is the best.
Life is more interesting when you're strange. This is what I've found. Not much. I've lost Cloud and Tifa and blown around an airship a bunch. So that's cool, I guess. I don't know. I don't hate this game anymore. I'm kind of enjoying it. Do a quick save though, I don't want to lose my spot. <laughs> I'm not lost. No, I was supposed to go here. I looked at the guide. to stop looking at this email I got with sideshow collectible toys in it and thinking I need things that I do not need. <laughs> Next slide. Oh, I gotta go talk to that dude. Oops. Thank goodness for Google. Yay! I still got the things that I was supposed to get with the train crashing into coral. Oops. Destroying things. I'm good at that. I'm really good at destruction. OBS is dropping so many frames still. It's not like it was earlier, but it's still not what it was either before. And Kid Oak. I'll be here, I think. Unless I get bored, but for now I'm sticking around still. So. Not this thing's working. Where did I park my airship? <laughs> Maybe that person like wandering the parking lot. Is it choppy? All right, I am going to restart the stream real quick after this battle. One moment, people. I will be right